you a fun little project today. We're gonna make a pom-pom marble maze on the wall here. I'm upstairs in the kids' playroom. And I collected a whole bunch of different tubes. I have toilet paper roll, paper towel rolls. I have some tape. Um, I'm hoping scotch tape will work. If not, we'll have to get masking tape. And like any good preschool teacher, a bunch of pom-poms. If you don't have pom-poms, you can just make little wads of paper or I'm sure they have like a little ball or probably like Cheerios will work, whatever you have on hand. So we're gonna make, um, we're just gonna come up with like a little maze here. I'm gonna put some tape on that. Uh, start there. Have your kids help you come up with ways that you can engineer the maze. So they feel like they're helping. It's a good STEM activity. Learn some science here. Uh, kind of as you're going through, test it a little bit and make sure it works. So let's try one here. One in there. Yeah, that worked. Okay. I'm not sure about this one. Nope, that one did not work. So move it over a little bit. Try it again. Mm. Yeah, okay, worked that time. So we'll put it there. With most things, it's trial and error. So have it go maybe a little zigzag action. did have something similar to this at the school that I made over uh, in the beginning of the year that they really liked playing with. But after a while, everybody playing with it, it stopped working. So we had to take it down, but they did enjoy it. Okay, so let's see here if that works. I'm gonna throw a couple in. Oh, where did it end? It got stuck there. So we'll have to move that. <laughs> okay. Something's lodged in there somewhere. Let me try taping it there. Okay, so I think you'll have fun with the trial and error of getting it to work. Okay, we're going to uh, stop it for a minute and get it to work, and then I'll come back and show you the finished project. Okay, now we've gotten it. We've gotten our funnel. I'm going to put it in, and... Bee. And... And I'm going to get another few. Now that one. So as you can see, we actually had a lot of fun making it, and it even keeps my almost 11-year-old entertained. So, hey, win-win. Make one at home. Start saving those toilet paper rolls. Uh, if you need any pom-poms, maybe I'll include them if you write me a letter. Okay, enjoy. Bye. As you can see, he had a lot of fun playing with it. In fact, he's still playing with it, so I'm going to call this one a win.